so a bit of success today. Um, our windlass I was controlled by a cable in the front of the boat, which meant that to raise the anchor you had to have somebody on the front of the boat uh, standing there and pressing a button and when you were finished with it you had to undo the button and bring it all the way back. Now if we are ever sailing on our own, uh, if I'm sailing on my own and I need to lower the anchor, uh, that wouldn't work. Uh, so what I've done is I've bought a little um, wireless switch from AliExpress for I think $13. And if I can flip my camera I'll show you quickly. And uh, this is it. It's called a wireless switch DC 12 volt two channel. Two channel is important because we need the, the windlass to go up and down. And uh, I'll show you how to connect it quickly. Um, so it's actually not as difficult as the diagrams make it sound out. There's um, eight inputs and I've got um, positive in number one number four and number seven. I've got negative and number two, and then I've got an output going to the uh, windless uh, relay, and the output is in number six and number eight over there. And that's pretty much it. And if we have a look, and I can grab my remote, lovely little wireless remote, and if I press A, makes it go up. And if I press B, sorry, let's focus on that, takes the winch down. And just for fun, I'm going to go to the back of the boat where I'm driving from. Come along, come along. The boat is looking lovely since my wife has made all these beautiful design changes. Um, but I could be driving the boat now, and I'm not sure if you'll see anything. There we go. You can see the windlass in the distance. Let me try and zoom. There it is, over, over there. there. You can see I can raise and lower it from here. And I'm very happy about that. And the last step, of course, is going to be to neaten everything up. And it even comes with a nice little box for the, uh, for the uh, remote controller.